Hi traders, this is Focus Trader, and in this video, we're going to have a look at the newest version of our ICT liquidity indicator, and I will show you some cool new features and all the ways you can use for use it for your trading. So uh, let's let's get to it. Uh, this is the first thing that I want to mention or want to show you. Uh, right now, we are in London session. So let me just uh, display a session background of obviously London. Okay, so uh, we are here on, on London session. Uh, of course, uh, I can show you the first new feature, uh, which is your ability to set the session when it starts. And if you scroll over uh, this little icon, uh, you can see that there is a tooltip with a number you should input for. Uh, London kill zone. So this is according to ICT concept, the the time zone or the session that you need to input for you to do, to be able to display the uh, London kill zone session. Okay, so so that's it. And let's just focus on this area and this area and maybe also this area. You could see the liquidity grab and the market reverse market reaction. So uh, we can see that the liquidity uh, really really works of course uh, not every time you will see a uh, direct reaction there are more uh, more aspects that this play some role but uh, the liquidity is a major concept I think from from ICT okay so uh, let's go to settings and let's have a look at all all the available settings here and we'll start here at the top, you can see the number of liquidity lines and it affects the speed of the script. Right now it's set to 50. So basically what it says is uh, that there will be always only 50 lines on the chart drawn in, in one, uh, one moment. And after that, they will be deleted. So, so here you can see that the, uh, here is the end the line is delete, for example and the new new line uh, will be drawn so so you can see more than 50 uh, lines but only 50 are actual and this affects the speed of script significantly uh, but uh, if you want to for example backtest it's probably a good idea to set higher numbers uh, i was working with setting of 500 and i was cool with that but sometimes it could uh, it take a while to for script to load so uh, if you go to 50, you will have uh, faster switches between time time zones or yeah, nah, no time zones, uh, time frames. Sorry. Yeah, so you'll be uh, you'll be much faster. And again, here you can see how the liquidity was targeted, grab small reaction, and the continuation of trend. And here is another liquidity grab, for example. So let's have a look if I input here 500 which is maximum how long it will take to switch between uh, between uh, different time frames you can see that right now the script is loading and the circle is scrolling sort of and you see how how many more lines are there and let's switch to 30 minutes and again we're loading and loading and loading and it will take several seconds so probably it's a good idea to use a higher setting for Higher time, uh, higher for backtesting, for for more future, uh, for more history, historical data, uh, but for live trading and analyzing and uh, trading itself, uh, I think it's a good idea to keep setting of, for example, fifty or or one hundred, and it will be, uh, it will be much more faster. Okay, so uh, this is the first thing, and the second thing is pivot mode. Uh, there are two pivots mode uh, it is fixed and time frame i uh, i made some tooltip here which says time frame displays liquidity from higher time frames using uh, multiplication of pvh pvl what it uh, what it does basically uh, i found out that a lot of people still don't understand the concept so let me uh, just show it again uh, what is pivot high pivot high is a candle which has specific number of bars on the right and bars on the left which has smaller high and the, the opposite works for pivot low 
so so it will those will be candles let me just draw it very fast these candles these so, uh, bars on the left will have higher lows this one also so basically uh basically you don't know if this candle is pivot high until one two three for example three candles passes so only then you can know that this candle was the highest from uh, those three and those three so let's uh let's see how it works uh let's input this for example to three so basically what we should should see is uh, that uh, there there will be more lines because more you will get more uh more pivot highs if you have lower setting of uh, required left bars and right bars which will be smaller so right now if i set this to for example two you should see many more lines and i think it was uh, it was visible uh, let's focus for example on this one this one candle this 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 is pivot high because this and this is lower the it has lower high and these two has lower high so if we set it to three this liquidity disappeared so i hope it's not now much more clear how this works and uh, the way to use it uh, this is this is uh, depending on your backtesting on, on the on the way you trade on the way you you use your preferences uh, as for me i work with setting of five or 30 minutes time frames which basically basically means uh, that uh, uh, if i want to see liquidity of 30 minutes time frame in one minute time frame i need to multiply the number uh, if i want to see the liquidity from 30 minutes and i am currently in one minute so this way you could see that there are a lot of liquidities drawn but i don't see liquidity from higher time frame so that's the reason why, why there is a time frame mode here so let me switch to time frame mode and currently uh, this will uh, this will show me the liquidity from 30 minutes time frame with settings of three so if i do five you could see that some liquidity disappeared so now we can uh, we can look at liquidity from higher time frame in lower time frame I, and right here you can see you can see the perfect liquidity grab the liquidity was grabbed there was strong reaction pullback and continuation to to the uptrend so this is a perfect opportunity to trade for order block traders you could draw something like this and enter somewhere here uh, I use a different style of entering, but uh, it is it is very similar. But my mine is algorithmic, so I am able to uh, do the same thing over and over again without any any part of my discretionary decision. So so I don't like human in the process because human is error. So I try to make my scripts as strict as possible for me to be able to objectively backtest all the data. Okay, so. Uh, so this setting currently, if I am in time frame mode, uh, will show me the higher time frame liquidity with this multiplication. Uh, so if I go back to, back to fixed, you will see much more liquidity because right now it will work for the specific time frame. So I'm looking at liquidity from one minute time frame, and I'm looking for only for candles that have five candles on the right and left, which are smaller for pivot highs and and higher for pivot lows so you can see this one has one two three four five one two three four five and after this bar i know that this is pivot low and let me change second things to for example six because this is one two three four five six seven but i think that this candle also is below this liquidity so if i if i uh change number to six this liquidity disappeared because this candle is lower than this candle so it is not uh not confirmed pivot high or low so uh i prefer to use time frame settings because there's no reason for me to to see liquidity from lower time fr uh, from higher time uh, lower time frames on lower time frames because uh i'm more focused on liquidity from higher time frames in my analysis okay so so but you have you have the freedom to trade also some scalping systems uh which uh, will use the way that you can see that here are a lot of liquidity there are a lot of liquidity lines so it is probably a good idea so when the market uh, goes here and you can see this this 
plenty of liquidity here when you see this plenty of liquidity so after pullback if you see this liquidity grab and continuation it is probably a good idea to trade it that uh, the market will should clear all this liquidity so on this pullback you will enter and grab all this liquidity because from higher time frame we have confirmation that uh, there was a liquidity grab from higher time frame and there is impulse movement in the market so it's probably it's very probable that it will continue especially when uh, yesterday and, and several several past days were uh, were those uh, very slow moving markets yeah okay so this is uh, this is the explanation of this first uh, of this first part uh, now there is uh, there is a setting of every session so let's see how how it works uh, I was explaining at the beginning how the how the how the display session background works. So now if I uh, turn off uh, London and turn on Asia, we will see the red color for Asia. So uh, let's just have a look. And, and right now the Asia is highlighted. For example, if I want to change this session for this one, you can see that it jumped to the specific session. Okay. So let me let me. Uh, get it back to 18 and also there is a parameter of transparency uh, the first versions of this liquidity indicator work that uh, uh, you you uh, every time you apply it to script you need to change the transparency to uh, to higher higher number because the red uh, red color was too intensive and was sort of covering the chart uh, right now you have default transparency of 85 so i think it's much more convenient and you don't need to change all the parameters but we can have a look if there is no transparency present you can see that it's totally totally unusable so uh, let me switch back to 85 and i can play also with the color so so any color you like if you like purple yellow or, or any other color you will see it see it changed okay so uh, this is as for coloring of session and now uh, you can see that there is a uh, check check uh, check <laughs> uh, for displaying the Asia liquidity. So uh, we know that uh, Asia liquidity will be displayed in red, red, red. So if I change this color, for example, to yellow, we can see that this high liquidity. You can see the arrow up. So so it changed to yellow, and the arrow down will be oh, it's still green. So let me just change color. For example, purple. And we'll see that uh, it is purple purple now so you can see this is another uh, it depends on your preference another option to change coloring of your chart uh, let me just change width if you want for example the Asia liquidity to be more significant you can change also width and uh, the thing that I like the most is uh, change my liquidities to arrows so you can see that right now it's arrows and you can see perfectly how algorithm behaves, how it clears the liquidity. So it creates liquidity here, it clears it here, uh, it creates liquidity here, and now it clear, clears it here. So so it's always going after after liquidity, after after new orders, or or it needs to create volume. Okay. So this is the coloring, and now just uh, let's just hide. Uh, hide the uh, liquidity of Asia totally and it's gone so right now uh, when we'll uh, when we will uh, like to uh, create alerts for Asia session or, or for grabbing of uh, Asia liquidity for example let me do it uh, in a time frame mode let me turn on the Asia liquidity you can see that the Asia liquidity was grabbed here and it probably was in the London kill zone or in the London session. So uh, if I want to create alert and I want to uh, to be alerted for Asia liquidity, uh, that Asia liquidity was grabbed, I need to have this uh, cross check mark. And another thing, uh, if I want to be alerted in Asia, Asia session, if I'm able to sit uh, by my computer and trade in Asia session, I need to have uh, I need to have this sent alert turned on which is defaultly defaulted turned on so if you don't trade in asia session you will just turn it off so right now we will receive alerts for asia liquidity that that was grabbed and uh, you won't be alerted in asia session so we will be only alerted in session that you have checked so right now it's london 
and New York. Uh, I will explain everything uh, everything about this indicator in Asia session, but it will obviously work the same for, for any other session. Okay, so uh, the first thing is drawing. And if you, if you have turned on drawing, if you have this checked, uh, then uh, it is alerted. Uh, but it is alerted only in time specified by uh, Asia sent alerts. So in only this sent alerts function, if it is checked. So uh, let's say that uh, I want to trade Asia and London, uh, but I uh, I am trader from New York, so I will trade only session of New York. So I will only receive alerts for New York session, and I would like to receive uh, alerts for New York liquidity, for London liquidity, and for Asia liquidity. So this is this is probably uh, this is probably the way uh, most of the people will use it but there is also another approach uh, we will draw new york liquidity but we won't get alerted in new york session and for europe traders uh, we'll just turn on uh, sound alerts in uh, send alerts in uh, london session and don't send them in asia or in new york so this is the this is the way uh, this is the way the script works so if you just uh, london kills on trader uh, you will have it set so. So uh, why why is that? Why why we want to uh, be alerted for for example New York liquidity? Because it is very possible that in London session the New York liquidity, for example, was grabbed, and we can see it here. You can see that this green uh, green color, this green liquidity line, is from New York, and it was grabbed in London. So obviously, it is a good idea to to be alerted for uh, for not just for Asia session, but also for for New York sessions liquidity, okay. So let me show you how to how to create alert. So let me just uh, again check check my settings, and let's say that I obviously want trade in Asia because most of the people sleep uh, or rest, <laughs> and uh, so I want to be alerted in London because I am in Europe. So I I'm able to trade London and New York session the beginning of it, which is which is enough because again. If you scroll here, you can see the setting uh, when there is a kill zone there. And I see that there is a London kill zone. Yes, uh, the, the, the inputted number is correct, but the, but the text is uh, wrong. Here you can see London kill zone, which is correct. Uh, here you can see Asia, uh, London kill zone again. So, so the, the time frame is correct, but the, but the text I will need to I will need to fix so so another thing that I will I will put uh, into my Discord channel and I will type it into black section so for any people who are part of our Discord community uh, I'll just know that uh, I have a bug in in two tips and I will fix it SAP in the next uh, in the next uh, launch of new version okay. So, uh, so again, uh, I want to be alerted in London, I want to be uh, alerted in New York, and I want to be alerted for a grab of Asia's liquidity, London's liquidity, and New York liquidity. So right now I am satisfied with the settings. I have my time zone set. Uh, I have unchecked the Asia session because I don't want to be alerted in Asia because it has no reason for me. And right now I can add alert by right clicking here and create uh, and clicking add alert, or I can click here. So if I create alert. I will choose ICT liquidity as an indicator, and here's only the the thing that uh, is about your preference. So uh, I want to be notified on app. I want to show pop up if I'm sitting by my computer. It will uh, it will pop up uh, in the trading queue application. Uh, I don't want to receive emails because otherwise I will I will be over over flooded with emails. So so it's not something I would use. And I will set my alert so. And again, there is one important thing to check. You need now need to check uh, from uh, which time frame you will receive the liquidity alerts because currently you are on one minute and this is something which is very very important to explain. Uh, if uh, if you are for example on thirty minutes time frame and uh, you are receiving alerts, you will receive alert that this liquidity was grabbed here after the candle close. So. Uh, basically at the end of the 8.30 time period. But if you do it from one minute, you will be alerted not at 9 o'clock, but at 
54 in my current time zone, which is UTC plus 2. So it will depend on your time zone. But you could see that I will receive this alert much sooner and I will be able to prepare myself because sometimes uh, it happens that, um, let me show you, let me show you if I find some good example. Yeah, here, for example, let me, see, uh, let me show you. Uh, here is a liquidity grab, but I will receive my notification at 15 o'clock uh, in my time zone. So, so again, it will be different in, in your time zone. Uh, I will receive alert after this candle close, but I will miss all this reaction, all this space because it, the market has already moved and it is it is gone. So it probably missed my best entry. And since I'm entering from one minute or fifteen second time frame, uh, I will miss miss most of my opportunity to trade. So it is good idea to set your alerts from lower time frames. So let's get to the end and let me let me get to one minute. And this way, uh, I see the liquidity from higher time frame. I will just check settings if it is five because this is my preference. You could use also four. You could you could use a higher number. Of, when you press four, you see that some some other liquidity was created. If I press, for example, ten, you will see that some of the liquidity is gone. So so this is normal behavior. This is how it needs to be. My preference is five. And again, it is multiplication of number of bars in that specific time frame. For so, for example, if you are on thirty minute time frame and uh, you wanna uh, you wanna see if you are on one minute time frame and want to see liquidity from thirty minutes, you need to multiply by thirty. So this is the multiplication between one minute and thirty minutes. This is the number of bars in that higher time frame. So this is encoded into my uh, indicator, and this is just multiplication of number of left bars and right bars. Yeah. So so. It is 30, the number of one minute bar, one minute bars in 30 minute bars, and it is multiplied by this through the high or low. So, so if you if you don't understand the mathematics behind that, uh, just believe me, it works. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I will I will create my alert in one minute session, and again uh, I triple control everything. So let me again triple control. Uh, pivot high and low five, which is correct. Uh, I want to use Asia liquidity, London liquidity, and New York liquidity, and I want to be alerted not in Asia but in London and in New York. The colors don't play any role, and uh, the sessions I am setting according to myself. But uh, you could have other preferences or use the time of the uh, of the kill zone from ICT. So this is ICT indicator, obviously. So so this is something. Uh, you you can change uh, for yourself. So everything is right. Everything is set right. So let me just create alert. Choose the indicator which, which will which will alert me, and I want to have notification of app and show pop up. Uh, sometimes if I'm sitting by my computer, pop ups are are not so convenient because they are a bit aggressive for me. So. I can just be notified on that because I have my mobile phone uh, every time around me. So, so this is probably the best best way to use it. And now, now I press create. And if we have a look at this alert section, you will see that right now the alert for ICT liquidity from one minute time frame was created with this settings. If you if you scroll over, you will see the setting, and uh, you see that there was uh, fifty liquidities drawn, and. Uh, uh, five field highs and lows. It's it's here in this table. So if I scroll over, you will see it. Okay. So alert was created, and right now I am free to do whatever whatever I like. If I now change these settings to, for example, two, it won't affect the alert. The alert is has stored the current version of the script, and it will work always the same as it was set. But uh, right now, if I change the settings and create new alert. The new alert will be added, but it won't affect the the old alert. So it is a good idea to see what uh, what suits you best. Uh, I would recommend to use settings that uh, from uh, liquidity grabbing of, of for uh, uh, on one minute uh, time frame. To I recommend you to set uh, liquidity grabbing from uh, one minute time frame by alert and. Uh, uh, the setting of uh, of uh, sessions and pivot highs and lows will, will be totally your preference, uh, but uh, I'm using five and it works works very nice. 
So let's just have a look at the opportunities we have because today was a very interesting day for, for trading and let me just show you what happened and what I uh, was or uh, was not able to trade. So right now we are on Euro USD and we can see that the liquidity was grabbed here again. It is set as a time frame. So I'm looking at liquidity from a higher time frame with multiplication of five, which is correct for me. Uh, uh, this preference is also cool with me, but uh, let me just do my setting because uh, I'm going to show you so so you will see my preference personal and uh, again I'm I like arrows so let me let me just set it for arrows okay so uh, what happened here I received alert on 8 or uh, 55 uh, 54 or 3 uh, that liquidity was grabbed in euro USD and I'm going to trade. So I will turn my entry. I will turn my entry indicator. I'm on one minute time frame, and you can see that uh, my entry indicator provided me with area of interest and with some possible uh, possible entries. So uh, the first way uh, that I'm able to use my uh, my indicator here will be long position. I will place it here on the high of the area of interest and place stop below this low and we can see how it how it could have ended from one minute the trade will still go because uh, the after i move stop loss to break even which i do basically here uh, it never gets even close so right now we are working with 7.51 uh, risk reward ratio so this is the first trading opportunity we can go to british pound and we can see uh, multiple liquidity is grabbed here we had third entry which will end up in uh, loss i think but uh, i won't trade this opportunity because uh, there is a lot of consolidation here so market created new liquidity here so if we go for example to lower time frame uh, liquidity let me go to fixed and let me now oh, we can leave five there and you will see that uh, this liquidity was created and also there is liquidity here from uh, from from history basically so it's from here it's from here so so the, all this liquidity uh, need, was needed to be grabbed so after this uh, I'm uh, I'm satisfied and also there is another rule but uh, I want this is video is about indicators not about uh, my trading system so let me just focus on that and let me go back to let me go back to time frame mode so this is something I'm looking for, this strong movement, this is strong movement up. I don't see any entry here, but then I can see there are entries here. And this is something uh, that I probably would have traded because there, is, there are some patterns that I, uh, that I like to trade. So again, this could be possible entry. Um, and then at the end, let me just show you my uh, best possible entry there was. And you can see a lot of liquidity here. This is triple liquidity. Uh, you can see that uh, sometimes the display of trading view is a bit buggy because you can see the uh, arrow here but you can see it here so if you uh, zoom in yeah, you will see that uh, everything is correct but, but uh, it, it's just the way the trading view displays this, uh, this sort of things, these lines if the lines are too close together it will uh, it will be this, this arrow will be small basically and you can see that uh, there was perfect entry here so, so let me just place I'll play straight there, so long position, and I would have probably entered here, but let me just do what uh, the indicator would, would offer, and here the stop loss will be placed here, and we can see what the market did. It was about four, four to one risk reward ratio so far, and we'll see uh, the target, and the target could be this double liquidity, so for sure it will be a good idea to take partial here and let's uh, let's just have a look if there is some some strong liquidity area very close and uh, these two liquidities are maybe a bit far but still you can trail some part of your position so so that's it that's the way i uh, use uh, i use use this script so again i will be alerted here and here that the liquidity was grabbed on these two candles so there there will be two alerts sent sent to me uh, I will receive them and I will I will turn down my uh, my my indicator for entries and I will wait for opportunity to trade. So I will 
wait until this area of interest pop up, pops up and then I will wait for signal and uh, this uh, this candle here is for me a very strong signal which was not detected by this indicator but uh, but probably it has some good reason but nevertheless it was uh, it was a good place to entry so so also you could have uh, looked at it uh, from the perspective of order blocks so the order block was something like this and you could see that there was a perfect entry here and also uh, if you missed this trade so you, you could have probably uh, catched uh, this trade okay so so this could have been yours and also uh, some of you might use 50% uh, so you can see that there was perfect entry almost ICT uh, textbook uh, textbook entry okay maybe love story book entry because this these trades are what pays your uh, your bills okay so that's I think everything uh, that I wanted to show you in this video about this indicator uh, there are lots of combinations a lot of cool stuff you can do with this indicator so uh, if you are interested uh, just uh, send me an email you, you will have contact on our youtube channel if this video would be posted and i think it will be posted on youtube uh, we have also our own private uh, discord which is for people who, who like to share their ideas and and participate on development of uh, of this script so so if you are interested just uh, let me or any any one of my colleagues uh, let, let us know and uh, you'll get you'll get edit probably okay so i think that's uh, that's all for this video i wish you good trading good opportunities good good wins and see you see you next time